So life has been crazy lately. Nestor and I have kind of changed everything like we like to do and we have been running this charter boat out of the USDI. And today I am sitting down to edit an episode for the first time in um, probably two months. So I'm super excited that I'm feeling back into the groove, but also just realize how much I enjoy the freedom to be able to not make videos when I'm not inspired to. <laughs> Nestor's rummaging through some stuff. Um, I have seen so many of our friends who are YouTubers become completely um, dependent on their income from YouTube and it becomes a really intense job uh, when you have Patreons and people who are paying for your videos to be released and they're expecting, you know, at least four videos a month or whatever it is that you um, agreed on, then you really feel responsible to deliver that. And we are so blessed that our Patreons that we have are super flexible and we're still a small enough channel that we aren't completely dependent on our YouTube for income. In fact, we don't make any money off of our YouTube. Um, and so we don't have to worry about algorithms and followers and stress about how often our videos are going out. Uh, we have the freedom to just kind of feel inspired and share with you when we want to and also feel inspired to just live life and not take the camera out and film things and force it when we don't. So that's really pretty amazing and I feel very blessed for that. Anyway, I'm going to go and up edit this episode. I think it's going to be a super cool one. I hope you guys enjoy it and there will be more to come. I really love making these videos. Um, so I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. And uh, thank you for always being patient when I decide to take my breaks and not edit video. So enjoy. <laughs> I love my life, 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 I love my life. No, no, we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me I live my life today. But me I live my life today. Yeah, so long me make me talk when I want to talk, me have enough to say. So me go live my life today. Me go live my life today. So everybody help me sing it out. Me love my life. Me love my life. Me love my life. So me I live my life. So hello, hello. we just went on our first sail. We sailed from Dockety over to Luis Pena. And if you're a Patreon, you can head over there and check out that feed. Uh, we just Booyah. had the phone recording the whole time. So a couple mishaps, some things we have to fix, but overall epic experience. And we just got here. It's gorgeous. There is going to be an epic sunset back there and we're just super stoked so happy to be sailing so happy to be back out on the boat and looking forward to sharing more of this kind of thing with you guys in the future let us know if you um, are a patreon and you came along for the sale we want to know everyone who has watched it and checked it out and seen it so we're here in Luis Pena, in this gorgeous anchorage, and we just grabbed a mooring ball that we're pretty familiar with here. And we're gonna just chill out, make a beautiful dinner, and probably get up in the morning, go for a snorkel, maybe a spearfish, catch some lunch. And then I think back to the main island of Culebra, uh, because we have a trip to Puerto Rico that we have to take to pick up some stuff um, that's waiting over there for us and 
So this is just like the first little mini vacation before many. So can't wait to share this with you guys. Life is so good, I'm so happy. Nestor is so running around the boat doing crap instead of talking to you guys, but we love you, good vibes. Good morning. So Nestor and I haven't woken up after a sail in a new anchorage in a long time. Um, we've moved around the bay a little bit, but we haven't really left <clears throat> the main bay of Culebra and Sanada Honda for like two years on the boat. So this morning we woke up at Luis Pena, which is just a little island off the south coast, but it's gorgeous. Look at this. So we're gonna take the dinghy to land and go for a walk on shore. This is gonna do some casting. See if you can't catch some fish. It's pretty windy, so I'm not sure how good you can hear me, but yeah, it's just so nice to be somewhere new. It makes you not wanna like normally we get up in the morning, we have coffee, we have some drones, and it just makes you wanna do something different, right? So we like got up this morning on our phones a little bit and had some coffee but Nestor was out casting off the boat and we're both keen to go to shore and explore a little bit. Totally different vibe, right? Yeah. Um, well, this is what we do it. We've done it before. We have a boat for you know, seven years and we sail around the media and sailing and that's why we can afford because we like doing this. Sometimes I want to break my phone in pieces and throw it in the ocean. <laughs> and just wake up and do the things that I love to do. I love to wake up in the morning and go fishing. Play with bucktail jigs all <laughs> morning long. Alright, so we're gonna hop in the dinghy, go for a little adventure. I'll bring the camera and show you guys how beautiful the shore here is. Cheering us on over there. This is how we like. I like to wake up. <laughs> the only things that I love would go kiting, would go surfing early in the morning as soon as I wake up. We're fishing. We're right now fishing. Fishing is one of my newest passions. It's always been a passion, but the rod and reel lately like, has been driving me nuts. And we just hooked up a little uh, strawberry grouper, what we call them, Culebra Chenna. And uh, they are in Beda right now, what we call Beda, which is. Uh, out of they're out of season, so we throw that little guy back on so she can go and eat, eat the more coral. And <laughs> make some more. Make some more. Usually their veda is either their mating or their laying season. Look at this spot here. 
gorgeous white sand beach all to ourselves. Beautiful bay here. And I think, Nessa, you want to walk out to the left point you were saying? Sweet little set up here. Epic table and a fire pit. I don't think technically you're allowed to have fires here, but little hammock. And this little guy. Just chilling. Good morning. Look at this cute little fisherman. We're always fishing on boats. It's very rare that we fish from shore, so this is fun. Christopher Roman. Some little hooved animal here. Probably goat, but possibly deer. So the island itself is a wildlife refuge. It says birds only behind this sign, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Nestor is part pelican, so. Look at these rocks. died. I forgot to bring a spare battery. We haven't been out on an adventure in a while away from the boat and charger and stuff. But um, we had an epic little session. Oh, you got to grab the fish. They're in the bucket. Um, hiked all out here around this point and it was gorgeous. Super beautiful, big rock and I love like bouldering is one of my favorites. So that was really, really nice. Nestor caught a bunch of fish. We kept two mantequilla. They grow to about a pound and a half. So these are just like plate size and we'll fry those up probably for dinner. We caught another bigger one, but as we were passing it from Nestor to me, it got dropped in the water. I didn't have a good grasp on it, and it was really slippery, so that one got away. Epic morning. Epic morning, just what the doctor recommended. Um, we're gonna have a little breakfast, and I might suit up again and just go for a little um, more casting. So, who knows? I'm gonna go make some sunshine smoothie. There you go. Well, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. upwind
we've got a main island trip to do some grocery shopping and stuff that we have to do tomorrow. So Boy we gotta head back. <laughs> and uh, just enjoying a gorgeous sail on the new boat. I hope you can hear me all right. It's pretty windy. Um, yeah, super fun. Kind of looking at all the rigging, all the sail setups, playing with the balance of the tiller, just getting to know a whole new boat. We've only sailed Christopher Robin like two or three times really before. Uh, even though we've owned it now for like five years. We had the staysail and the main up because it's kind of windy, but we were getting a lot of weather helm, so we put out a reefed Genoa. What's it on, Nestor? It's first reef? I think so. And uh, it took tons of the weather helm off and balanced the boat a lot better. Around five knots. And that's kind of inaccurate. That's just our GPS speed. Um, we don't have an actual uh, speedometer on the boat yet, but it's coming it's soon. On the boat, it's just not installed yet. And check out this day. All the sails up. Complete opposite of yesterday, where we were downwind sailing. Um, today we're beaten up into it. Christopher Robin feels sailing for the first time in five years and I think she's pretty happy. So stoked with how it came out. Nestor is skilled. Eww. Oh! It's hard to tell, like how much of a lead we're on. But we are freaking hauled over. Do you know, sailing around with a rail in the water. <laughs> 